Hello and welcome to this presentation of Workflowit. My name is Oren Martirosian and I'm going to show you how we can use Workflowit with Sage 200 to carry out invoice authorization. So what are the objectives? Well, the objectives are to be able to enter a purchase ledger invoice in Sage and require it to be authorized. The, we can then scan that invoice and link it to Sage and uh, we want to use a browser to carry out the authorization process and send email alerts for those who have work to carry out. When authorized, we want this to automatically update Sage and we need to be able to recode the costing allocation uh, along the route from the original suspense account to the allocated accounts relating to the invoice. We want to be able to uh, also add related documents such as contracts and price lists, which we use during the authorization process, and also capture comments of the authorizers as it's going along the uh, authorization route. Finally, we want to be able to carry out uh, reporting in a web-based environment and be able to export those into things like Excel or PDF. And uh, we want some key reports, things like full audit trails of comments. So let's have a look at that in practice. System that I've got, and what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that this invoice has just arrived. And what we're going to do is we're going to process that into Sage. So let's go and do that. So there's Sage. I'm going to go and pick up the supplier, and I'm going to go and put the invoice on. And uh, I'm going to um, fill in the details and uh, require the invoice to be uh, authorized. So we can then look at that later. So let's put the invoice number in as R1810. And it's going to be for £100. And uh, it's going to require authorization. And I'm going to put it to uh, the five account. I'm going to save that. As soon as I do that, it'll come back with a URN number, which is a unique reference number, which we've enhanced Sage 200 with. So we then write 111 on the invoice, go and scan it, and uh, put it into Workflow for authorization. But right now, that invoice is sitting there uh, uh, at a status of U, waiting for it to uh, to be uh, authorized through Workflow. Look at that. There you go. There's the status U. Okay, so I'll close that. And what I'll do is I'll now go and uh, link the image uh, to the number. So first thing I'll do is load the files. I'll go and have a look at it. And it's going to go and find uh, the invoice with URM 111, which I scribbled on it. And uh, instead of typing everything in again, I can just go and say, go and get the data from Sage. And it's gone off and it's found, uh, sorry, it was uh, the wrong number, 111. And there it is, invoice 1810, which is the one that I put in. It's now been allocated with that image. And uh, we don't need to key anything else in apart from that. That's it. It's done and dusted. I can exit out of that and I'll then export that ready for authorization through Workflow It. So let's go and do that. So if I'll go and I'll go and open up Workflow It, first thing I need to do is log in. So I'm going to log in as Colin. Right. So the way Workflow It works is that we set up users who are going to be used during that workflow process. We upload images that are, need to be workflow. And you do that uh, once or twice a day. And there we go. So that invoice is now ready for us to be authorized. And what we'll do is we'll go into workflow at the tab. And we'll, there it is. There's the 11 that uh, we need to uh, authorize. And you can see it's status U. And that's come from Sage. And if I click on to the icons, I can then go and have a look at the particular invoice. And there it is. Right, so let's go and route that and get it authorized. So what I'll do is I'll uh, use these buttons up here to workflow it. I'm going to workflow that to Steve. And I'm going to say, please uh, check this for me. And I'll send that off to uh, Steve. Now, Steve would, uh, in the background, there's a process running which uh, goes and sends emails. And there it is. That's the email that Steve would get to say, you have now been allocated an invoice. Um, and uh, you need to go and uh, authorize that for me. It's 120. Please check it for me. And you can then just go and click on that. And he can then just go and open it up. And there it is. See that particular invoice. That's one of them. Or alternatively, if I'm going to have a look at uh, his inbox, uh, we've got a whole lot of other ones that have come through showing all the ones. And that's the one that we actually want him to authorize. So he's got a couple to do. So if I go and click on that and open that up. We can see the invoice. There you go. You are in 111. OK, so he's looked at that. He says, yep, that's fine. I'm happy to authorize that. So in his workflow, it he can then just log in as himself. Uh, take that for record and say, right, I'm happy to authorize that. So he clicks on authorize and that takes him to the next screen and says, right. So you have got 100 pounds here to reallocate which accounts do you want to reallocate those to? Well, he wants to spend some of it on uh, 
the McKean's account and he's going to put £70 in that and uh, he wants to put the other 30 into number 8 uh, which is to do with uh, Prince Charles. So uh, he puts £30 in here and you can see that it's gone red up here because the numbers don't, he hasn't allocated the whole of the £100 and now that it's all allocated it comes back as green. Alternatively you could have just sent it to the default nominal code. So I'll press OK on that and what that will do is it will now go and authorize it and take the flag off Sage to say it's now authorized, it's no longer you and it will then take it out of his inbox so he doesn't need to worry about that anymore and um, if I go into Sage we can see that status taken off and the reallocation. So let's have a look at that, let's go back into the account, go do a transaction inquiry and look for URN11. There it is, there's URN111. You can see that uh, it's not queried anymore, so the status has been changed. I can go and have a look at the nominal codes, and there we are. We can see that uh, 70 and 30 have now been reallocated out of the uh, original suspense account. So it's reallocated the costs as well, which is great. So let's go and have a look at some other bits and pieces and workflow it. So let's have a look at what else we can do. So if I went and had a look at search it and uh, looked at URN11, Steve, used a couple of tracks and price lists to authorize that. So what he wants to do is link those uh, documents to that. So what he does is he can just literally go and find the uh, contract and say uh, that was the uh, contract he used for the authorization process. And update. And we've now got that Word document linked into that particular record. Uh, he also used a price list. So I'll go and do that and uh, there's the price list, upload that, and those are now linked with that record. So when we come back to it in six months, I will click on that and see the content as it stood at that point in time. The price list that he used as part of the author process. And there's the Excel spreadsheet. Great. Now, uh, also in terms of audit history, we also have the ability to go up here. Uh, that's invoice number 1810, so I can go into history. And I can have a look at the invoice numbers or put the number in there and say, right, show me what happened to invoice 10. Well, I can see it was authorized on the 26th. And uh, it, uh, these are the comments that were captured during the uh, authorization process, which is also very useful. Now, alternatively, we've also got many, many web reports. So if I clicked on that, I get a whole menu of different reports that are available to me. So, for example, if I wanted to have a look at the URN number, I can uh, type in the number in here and go off and bring the information from Sage. Alternatively, I can go in and have a look at the full work detail of what every invoice uh, in the system is and where it is in terms of status, whether it's authorized or workflowed or query. And having done that, I have the ability in here to find a particular record. Let's say I'm looking for record 44. It will then go and find anything that says 44 on it. Um, if I want to use uh, this data in a different format, I can export it in any one of these, the most common one being Excel. So I can then just export that into Excel, open that up, and uh, do whatever I uh, want to in Excel with it, which is also very, very useful. So overall, Workflow is a very, very powerful product which allows you to link scanned images to records in Sage and allows you to automatically route using just Internet Explorer browser and uh, get it authorized. In summary, we did see the invoice going into Sage and setting the authorization flag to you. We then scanned it and linked it to Sage and used the browser to route the authorization. We saw an email alert going to Steve telling him he had two invoices to authorize. We then authorized it and we saw the stage automatically being updated. We reallocated the £100 cost across two other nominal and cost centers. And we were able to also relate documents to the invoice along the route and capture comments. Finally, we saw some web-based reports and uh, exported those to Excel. Right. So, in summary, Workflow is very easy to use and intuitive. It's very cost, uh, quick and cost effective to implement and you can use uh, a browser uh, from anywhere to carry out your authorization process. It has inbuilt email alerting for the authorizers and uh, you can have related documents uh, uh, to any of the records that are scanned into the system. The example we saw was for a purchase ledger invoice authorization, but this could be used for anything else, expense authorization, or just as a generic document image, um, document uh, uh, management system.
It's very easy to retrieve data and images. As you saw, everything is hyperlinked and uh, you get full audit trails of all the tasks that have been carried out or are to be carried out uh, within the system. Well, I hope you found that uh, presentation of interest. My name is Aura Marcherosian and uh, please feel free to drop me an email on aura at red-it.co.uk. Uh, and uh, if you have any queries, uh, please let me know and uh, I'll try and answer them and uh, see uh, how we can help you. Workflow it is a very um, uh, flexible system and uh, extra columns and extra data can be captured pretty easily. So thank you for your time.